what's up guys, my name is Brian and you are watching another episode of Unboxed. So for today's episode we have the legendary, the iconic, the most sought after, isn't very, shut up and take my money, Jordan Retro that you must have in your collection. The Air Jordan 4, red or black cement 4s, whatever you want to call them. We have them here for you today to do an unboxing and a review of Jordan Brand's latest delivery set to drop on May 5th. What's 9 plus 10? 21. You stupid. So if you guys are ready, let's go. So the Air Jordan 4 Bread made his debut during the 1989 Eastern Conference playoffs when the Bulls were playing the Cavaliers. As you may know, the Bulls won that game because of the iconic shot that propelled the Bulls to victory by who other than Michael Jordan. The Air Jordan 4 Bread was born that day. It became the most iconic stylish shoe because you know it's a hitter when the head coach of your team is rocking these with a suit. The Air Jordan 4 Bread was retro back in 1994 again in 2012, and now for the 30th anniversary, 2019. So I wanna start off by saying that the original 94 colorway featured the Nike Air on the back, the 2012 colorway featured the Jumpman on the back. I actually had the 2012 pair, and I wanna go on record saying that those were probably the worst retros that I've ever bought. Just based off the fact that they weren't the greatest materials that were ever put onto a retro. This was back when Jordan Brand wasn't giving its all when reproducing iconic retros such as the Bread 4. The main difference is, is that they used a suede material, not the OG Nubuck, and the cut or the mold that they used for the shoe was, I have no idea what they used, but all I know is that they hurt like hell. Uh, to a point where I think the first day that I broke them out, I had to take them off midday and like buy another pair of shoes just because I couldn't wear them anymore. So getting into the 2019 retro, these are the closest thing that you will get to the 94, 89 pair as far as the OG treatment. So you have the Nike Air on the back, you have premium Nubuck material that wraps around the entirety of the shoe, the over-exaggerated tongue with the Air Jordan branding inside of it, as well as the cement gray accents on the lace locks, as well as cement gray on the inside sock liner. And a Jordan 4 wouldn't be a Jordan 4 without the OG Nike Air hang tag and the Air Jordan branding on the inside of the tongue, as well as the Nike Air on the bottom of the sole. This is probably the most must have Jordan retro of 2019, and I'm super excited that they actually brought these back to commemorate the 30 year anniversary of this legendary shoe. Okay guys, that is a wrap. Thank you so much for watching this latest episode of Unboxed. Just as a reminder, the Air Jordan 4 Bread will be releasing in-store and online at 10 a.m. on May 4th in full family. So make sure you guys don't miss out on that. And also make sure you guys are following us on social media at DTLR Villa for store locations. We will be posting that information closer to the release date. So stay locked in. And other than that, my name is Brian. And until the next episode, I will see you guys next week.